this is my old best friend and this is my new best friend what's up everybody paul carl here today i'm going to tell you about shipping cards with the ebay standard envelope i've shipped over 34,000 cards and i've been constantly trying to find ways to improve the process and make it faster and this is the best way that i figured out how to do it and not only does it save time but it's also cheaper than how i used to do it let's go we're going to start with picking orders first go to your waiting shipment find this in the right hand side and sort by buyer i use my phone to pick orders and here you can see on the mobile browser you can request mobile or request desktop site i request the desktop version of the ebay website and then i'll be able to see all of the SKUs to pick all of the cards i use the chrono card method where every box has a number every row has a number and then every section of the row has a letter here's what that looks like now, make sure you start picking from the bottom to the top of that list in eBay. I use a BCW modular sorting tray to pick my orders. I keep my penny sleeves up here so I can sleeve the cards as I pull them. Then I sleeve each card and I put them in the slot as I pull them. That bottom card there, that's going to be the first card that was at the bottom of the list on eBay. And then as I pull cards, they pile up there. And it's very important to keep those in order. Once the cards are pulled, I start doing my printing and I always include a packing slip and a thank you note with all my cards. I'll talk about that more later. But first, let's get into my printer. I've been using the Epson ET38 and it's beautiful because look at this you can print your ebay standard envelopes directly onto a number 10 envelope with this printer this allows you to bulk print all your labels onto the envelope and while this is printing you can actually start putting your cards into the card savers or top loaders whatever you use personally i use card savers the semi-rigids they're the best i think because they're cheaper and they go through the machines at the post office a lot better we're gonna skip excel this time and just look at the calculator this is the printer here that i got i bought it specifically because it has a tray that can automatically feed the envelopes you just put a stack of envelopes into the printer and it prints it out for you now it comes with the bottle of ink the 502 epson ink 120 something milliliters i bought this in on june 11th and for the three months before i did my experiment i was shipping anywhere from 50 to 100 orders a day between 4500 to 9000 envelopes were printed with this printer since i got it and i still have over 75 percent of my ink left so it barely uses any ink and the ink here, you can see it's on sale right now, $13 or 20 bucks normally. Compare that to my, uh, <laughs> these labels here. So 4,000 labels for 4,000 envelopes is 65 bucks. You can't beat it. If I'm getting this much from one bottle of ink, that's $20. Um, and that's on the low end. So it actually ended up being cheaper. I thought that it was going to be more expensive and I just didn't care because I wanted to save the time. The time was more important to me, but it's actually faster and cheaper, which was wild. All right, now that we're done shilling for printers, when you're ready to actually print after you've picked all your cards, they're penny sleeve, they're in the tray ready to go, you want to print your packing slips. You could technically skip this, but I don't think you should, and I'll rant about why towards the end. But I print the, my packing slips on a laser printer so that I can print the packing slips while the envelopes print, and so I don't have to switch paper between trays. This is the bulk label printer here, and you can see there's all the information where for how much it's going to cost, what method it's using, you can combine orders if you need to. All of that's done here, and when it's when, once you've double checked all this to make sure that's accurate, you're going to go ahead and purchase the labels and then print them to your printer. All right, when you're printing here, you're going to want to choose which printer you're going to use. So the Epson, the ET3830, I click on that. Uh, all these should stay the same when you select it. I use black and white, paper size, envelope number 10. That's all you got to do. Fit the page with, hit print. They'll all start spitting out. While your envelopes are printing, this is the time that you use to start stuffing your cards into your card savers. Next, it's important to have a dedicated shipping spot where you have all your tools on hand. I have different size card savers for singles versus multi-card orders, top loaders, team bags, and this space to actually do the work. When you're stuffing the cards, it's important to start from right to left and keep the cards in order like this so that you can see here that card, the baseball card on the right, that was the first card that was picked. It was at the bottom of the pile. And you keep it that way because this is going to be in the same order as your invoices and as your envelopes once they're done printing. I use the Brother printer to print these thank you notes here. I tweak it a little bit every now and then, but you can pause it and read it if you want. I handwrite the customer's name at the top and then I sign every one of them and I run it through the Brother printer to print my invoices and the packing slips for the customer so they know what card they ordered and who sent it. Anyways, let's talk about actually stuffing the envelopes now. 
So once you're done putting all the cards in the card savers and you have them in the proper order, that top card matches that top invoice, matches that top envelope. So you just take that card, get your painter's tape. I like to fold the edges and then I tape the card saver to the invoice like that. Then you try fold it so that when it opens up, the name of the buyer is the first thing that the customer will see. They'll see their own name first. And I'll rant more about that later. That's all you gotta do. So basically you're just going to be doing like an assembly line. You just take the top card off the stack, tape it on the, on the invoice, fold it, stick it in the envelope, push it into your whatever bin you use to take them to the post office. Uh, that's the fastest way that I figured out to do it. And the one improvement that I would make is I was working on a software tool where it would sort all of the custom SKUs by box so that I could pick all of the orders that are in one box at one time and then kind of map them out to the sorting tray so that they stayed in order. But I wasn't going from box to box to box. I could just go in order and pick all the cards out. That's something to think about if you want to do that. I know there's one guy who does something similar and it's awesome. Um, but anyway, now that we're at the end of the video, you, this, that's the whole thing. But now we're going to get into a rant. The thank you notes. A lot of people think it's a waste of time that I've talked to. And uh, you could make the process even faster by cutting that out. You, you might not even want to print the invoices. There's lots of sellers that don't even do that. But the reason why I do it is because that's something that you expect when you're working with like a legitimate business. You expect to get a receipt at the grocery store or wherever. You expect to get your invoice from your vendors if you run a company or work at a company where you hire people. So that's why I think the invoices are important. The thank you notes are a whole nother level. Now, I'm a marketer by trade. That's my, my career. My main business is in marketing. And one of the things to think about is how your business touches your customers. Like every single way that you interact with a customer, whether it's your website or your receptionist or your packaging, everything is that the customer sees and interacts with is a touch point. And you want to make sure that you make the best impression at every touch point. And that's what the thank you notes do. I think that when you open up something that comes in the mail for you and the first thing you see is that a human being took the time to write your name and to sign their own name and to thank you for your business, that they're, they're not taking it for granted, that goes a really long way. And that's why I have such a high rate of repeat customers. My repeat customers, the, I've calculated it twice how much revenue repeat customers drive for my card business. And the first time it was like 60% and then it was like 80%. It, it's absolutely insane how much money people will continue to spend with you if you treat them right and build that kind of relationship. And that's another thing that the thank you note does is it opens the door to communication. It it's, lets them know that you're not just some faceless whatever. You're like a real person and you can talk to them. <laughs> and I, I have customers where I know what they like, I know what they want, and I know what they're looking for. So when I'm going through cards, I can pick those out and set them aside for those customers. And I know that that card is basically already sold. I don't have to list it. I don't have to do anything like that. I just set it aside for my customer and I give it to them when um, once there's enough of them stacked up. Uh, so that's that's a huge reason why I think you should be using thank you notes is to build a brand, establish relationships with your customers and build repeat business because whether you're selling widgets or like my main business is marketing, whether you're providing a service, you want to be able to have that kind of rapport with your customers. You want to know exactly what they think of you and your business and your service and what they want, what they need. If you can understand that, then you can service them better. And that makes their lives better as customers, but it also makes your life better as a professional because you're going to make more money. You're going to have a lot easier and smoother of a time doing it. Anyways, I'll cut the rant short there. That's my whole philosophy on the thank you notes. And I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or join the Discord and ask me directly. I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Um, as usual, there's like the affiliate links in the description if you want to get any of the stuff that'll give me a little cut. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Yeah, thanks for watching.